Welcome to this e-learning tutorial on fitting in Compass GPS. Here you can see how Compass GPS offers freedom of choice in the fitting process. For this demonstration, we have used two Widex Dream 440 Fusion hearing aids with factory preset data in a binaural fitting situation. Please note that options may vary depending on the hearing aid model selection. When you open Compass GPS, the program starts up by showing the session start. To detect the hearing aids, select the Connect button and then define right and left for the hearing aids detected. You can click the Note field to trigger an identifying tone for each hearing aid. If no hearing aids are detected, please check the distance of the hearing aids from the selected interface, the condition of the battery, and that the hearing aids are switched on. Use the drop-down list to choose the receiver, ear tip, or ear mold, and the size of the vent. It is important that you choose the settings that match the hearing aid user's actual ear set. When you click OK, the fitting data will be programmed into the hearing aids. Here in the fitting overview, you can see the fitting status. The green check mark indicates that the fitting, based on the audiogram data, is OK. The graphics show the sound tracker, which is a real-time graph displaying the performance of the connected hearing aids for the right and left ear. It shows the unaided signal and the gain added. The dotted line shows the estimated sensogram. The real-time visualization can be stopped and reactivated. Alternate views and scaling for the sound tracker are selectable. Use the various graphics to verify your fitting. There is an explanation for each view and symbols are provided in the area in the middle. You can optimize the fitting by making in situ measurements, such as performing the feedback test and the sensogram. You have three ways of proceeding to the in situ measurements. You can access the measurements via the left navigation bar, via the precision fitting shown below, or via the fitting wizard. Use the fitting wizard if you would like to have guidance through the measurements. The wizard consists of a feedback test, the sensogram, and a climatization. To perform the feedback test, first ensure that the noise level does not exceed the recommended level. Click Start Test and wait for the result. Check that the status field shows OK. If the status field shows not OK, please ensure that you have quiet surroundings before running the test again. You can also try to make a tighter fit or reduce the vent size. Then perform the feedback test for the other hearing aid. To proceed to the sensogram measurements, select the sensogram icon in the left navigation bar. Start to measure the four basic in situ thresholds by clicking one of the frequency fields and holding the cursor over the tone. Use the arrows to adjust the dB level until an adequate level is reached. Depending on the audiogram, it may be sufficient to measure four bands. But if you assess that a more detailed measurement is required, you can measure the relevant in situ thresholds in the expanded sensogram. Perform the measurements for both ears. In a first fitting situation, the automatic acclimatization feature is turned on by default at level 2. This means that the gain in the hearing aids gradually increases until the full prescribed gain is reached. This helps the user to get accustomed to the amplified sound. You can change the acclimatization level depending on the user's needs. To define the duration of each level, select an interval in the drop-down list. The gain automatically increases according to the selected period. That means you will not have to book a follow-up session just to change the acclimatization level. 
If you prefer, you can control the level changes manually by selecting Manual. You can deactivate the acclimatization feature by deselecting Acclimatization Active. It is also possible to use the acclimatization feature monorally. Make the adjustments for the right or left ear. We continue with the binaural fitting and with acclimatization level 2. More tools are available in the left navigation bar. Under audiometry, you can see the RECD values that you may have measured and entered earlier in the fitting session. And under Rationale, you can see or change the fitting type or exclude the ISA vent compensation from the fitting. The ISA vent compensation starts to work when the sensogram is measured. After completion of the in situ measurements, you can now see the check marks for the tasks performed and that the acclimatization is set to level 2. In Compass GPS, a reset function is available. The list of possible actions depends on which actions you have performed. Remember, you can use Compass Help to get more information. Just select the question mark icon in the upper right corner.